Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to draw a water droplet icon in Adobe Illustrator. So I've created a new document, 900 pixels wide, 900 pixels high, and I'm going to start by selecting the ellipse tool and left click and hold shift to draw a circle. And if you haven't already, remove the stroke from this circle and give it a black fill. Next, we're going to zoom in and go to view, down to smart guides and just make sure they are turned on. And with the circle selected, go to object, lock and selection, just so we don't move it accidentally by mistake in the next step. Next, select the pen tool and you'll see that we have our smart guides pop up just to help us line various elements up. And we're going to position the pen tool around about here. So in the top left corner of the circle, if circles had corners, which they don't, but around about here. And then simply left click and move your mouse towards the center. And you'll see that the pink smart guides very nicely help mark the center of the circle. Then what we're going to do is left click and drag. You can hold shift to make sure that you drag straight up, keeping that line vertical. And we're going to go to about here and let go. Next, we're going to hold down the alt key. So you'll see this convert symbol appear and single left click on that top anchor point. And then next hold shift. We're going to go straight down. You'll see again, the smart guides being really helpful in lining shapes up. And then we're just gonna complete that shape. And you'll see a circle appear next to the pen tool. That just indicates that when we left click now, it will complete this shape. So if I go into outline mode, that's command or control Y, you can see that with the two shapes we have, we have the ellipse, and then we have the top half of our droplet. And we quite simply select this, go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place, and we have a copy and we can simply go to object, transform, reflect, and we'll reflect it along the vertical axes and it flips it around the other way. And with our smart guides, we can easily just drag this in and it will snap perfectly in place. So if we zoom out, we can see that we've created something that resembles a droplet. And what we can do is select the top two parts of our droplet and we can extend this or make it shorter as desired, so I'm going to extend mine up a little bit. You don't want to distort it too much because otherwise these parts here, the curves won't flow as smoothly. So I think I might go a little bit higher. And then what we can do is go to object, unlock all, and it will unlock our ellipse again. And I'm just going to bring this down and then hold shift and alt just to scale that down towards the center. Now you can see it's not perfectly smooth here. There is a little bit of a bump. So what I'm going to do is select everything just by dragging over it and in the Pathfinder panel, select the top left option, Unite, and that will merge all of the individual shapes into one shape. If you can't see the Pathfinder panel, just go to Window and down to Pathfinder and it will appear. Now there's a couple of other things we can do. We can smooth out this little bump on either side. If we just go to the smooth tool here, that's under the pencil tool, just select your water droplet shape, select the smooth tool, and we can just left click and drag, and it will just very subtly just smooth out those little bumps. And what we can also do is zoom in on the very top. Now this is a little bit pointy for my liking, so what I'm going to do is just round this off a little bit. So we can do this with the pen tool. Let's go up to about here. And again, you see it marks path in pink. That's the smart guides being really helpful. And we can left click. Again, it marks the center, that's brilliant. And we'll left click again and hold, holding shift. This keeps it horizontal as I'm dragging. And I'm gonna let go. 
and I don't need to hold down alt because I'm quite happy for it to continue this curve and you can see here it marks again with the smart guides just so I know that the left and right sides are both symmetrical. So I can left click and I can left click again to complete that shape. So we have our main water droplet shape and we have the shape that we've just drawn with the pen tool. So next, if you left click and hold on the pen tool, select the add anchor point tool and we're just going to add two anchor points on the main water droplet shape, just on the left and on the right. Remember to go into outline mode, it's command or control Y and we can press that again to come out. Now what we're going to do is drag over both shapes and in the Pathfinder panel, select the bottom left option, Divide. Now it will appear like nothing has changed. However, we can go to the top of our water droplet and with the direct selection tool, just drag over this part of the shape and then hit Delete or Backspace. And we can go into Outline mode again and then we can just drag these lines down until they snap at the bottom. So we've got a nice smooth top to our droplet. And up here we've just got a random anchor point left so we can just drag over that area with the direct selection tool, hit delete or backspace and it will go. And what we can do now is drag over both shapes so we have the tip and the main water droplet shape and in the Pathfinder panel select Unite again and it will merge that into one shape. So now we've created our water droplet. We can select this and position it centrally on the artboard. And in the swatches panel, we can double click a swatch and give it a color. And there we go, that's how to draw a water droplet icon in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.